gonna put this down. Would you like this? Boys and their toys. <laughs> I can't touch that. I'll die. <laughs> uh, g'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Get Me Get Me Game. <laughs> Uh, joining me on the show this week, it's Sam Higgins. Hello. Someone taught me earlier how to turn that on and off. I don't want it to look like I brought that in or something. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, Jack Petrinus is here. Did you forget my name? No, I was... You forgot like, what was going. I, you forgot who he was. I often have to no. wait for... Oh, I see. Right, right, right. The Jam or Pat, whoever oh, it is, were putting the camera to, to do the walk. You were this saying, week, Jam uh, had enough time to get to this. You were saying earlier that you sometimes don't know people's last names, so I thought maybe you just forgot. I didn't say that. I Naomi said that. Said that. Oh! You're taking me for Naomi again. You're just in love with me. <laughs> How could you not be? Dude, that was just nice. That wasn't even a joke. It was nice. What if we start this season off really positively? <laughs> And from all oh, okay, right, right. Right. Oh, Buckland. LA. Um, thanks so much for coming, guys. What a fun, what a fun time. It's been like eight <laughs> weeks since we've done the show. Has it? We're a bit rusty. It's been a while, yeah. I'm not rusty. Are you rusty? No, it's probably about the same, right? Yeah. Mm. I'm I'm warmed up. Great. I'm lubed up, I'm oiled. You know, like the opposite of rust, I guess. I was thinking of like an engine. Yeah, no, that's good. I'm WD20 up the wazoo. WD20? 40. <laughs> Why? I, I'm on the half dose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one Four Seasons lube that I really like, which never makes your hands sticky. Ooh, I knew which, it. I knew you were going to do that. Glow what in the is dark. that? Is it mm. water based? Yeah. Glow in the dark? The, just, the, just the outside so that you can mm. find it. Oh, right. At any hour. <laughs> <laughs> It would be great. You can always turn a light on. If you've got time to get up and turn a light on, you're not doing spontaneous, right? Sex. Oh, are we allowed to say sex? <laughs> you can say sex. <laughs> you can get smart sex. globes now, so you don't have to get up. Yeah. Yeah, oh. I just tell Google to do it. Okay. Which is very spontaneous. <laughs> but it, yeah, the case is not the thing that I like. It's the um, hands. Mm. No sticky. Evan, what's your favourite lubricant? This week. For sex. <laughs> this week. Sex. We're going to talk about Star Wars Jedi Survivor. <laughs> but first, what do you think of this? You could have said like love or something. It could have been cute. No. All right. No. Oh. Sex stuff. What do you think of this? <laughs> you know what I've been doing? <laughs> no. Uh oh. Hmm. Engineers in Barcelona have turned IVF into a video game. Speaking of taking the sex out of stuff, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Uh, fertility startup Overture Life have designed a sperm injecting robot operated by a PS5 controller, allowing people with no real experience to use a robotic needle to penetrate eggs and inject sperm cells. What? Evan, is this your you ideal partner? Is this why you're bringing this up on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's really mean for no reason. I just thought it was positive, and then I'm like, you, you want to fuck a robot, yeah? <laughs> this. Look, the, uh, I, I, mean, I know that's not what, it's the, not like the, fucking, the, but the it whole, is. The whole point of this is no sex is involved. <laughs> yeah, exactly, what? that's what you want. It saves so much time. You just pick up your PS5 controller. <laughs> <laughs> it's still hideously expensive, but maybe not quite as expensive. You know? As sex? No. Oh, no, for you, I guess. <laughs> hey <-oh>! <laughs> <laughs> I got your ass. Yep. <laughs> Uh, it depends on Afterpay with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Bex got all those new chains. Yeah, look at me. Um, but this one at Sports Girl. Sports Girl's good now. Sports Girl's good now. Sports Girl's good now. According to Bex. Do you want me to agree with you based on this one chain? <laughs> yes, the purple one. Yes. Oh, Sports, Sports Girl's, Girl's good, good now. now. I don't understand. They're just doing it with... There's a robot. But isn't it always already done with a robot? It's done. It's done by people typically. Like with holding a needle to yeah. a, an egg. Uh, yes, that's how I understand it. it is typically. They're done. very small. Yes, it's normally done by trained embry embryologists. So um, I, the story is that just a person did it, right? Well, the idea is that, it, but you, you do, you, basically you don't need any experience uh, to be doing it because you can use a PS5 controller. But and, do you need to be a real good gamer? Well, I mean, you need to be able to operate a controller, right? But if you if you if you're good at that, then uh, then you can do this, basically, right? Kind of. 
And anything. You can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I feel like this is one of those things that, uh, not, to, not to be serious, but it does feel like one of those things that has been made to be a press release for a university to get funding. Mm. something and maybe it's to get more ps5s and you know what i approve of this scam i get it <laughs> ps5s are expensive if i could get it through my work i would get a ps5 through my work you know wait i can uh why didn't we claim our ps5 on tax right in ivf it's prepared sperm possible. and eggs are placed together in a dish uh, in icsi an individual sperm is selected by a high selected Yes. By a highly experienced embryologist. Right, yes. So yeah. they're actually just choo choosing it. Yeah, but this same company makes... And um, under very delicate microscopic control, the egg is injected with this single sperm. Mm -hmm. Microscopic control. That's yeah. not a fucking hand. Yeah, okay. So they're probably So that's using... a robot. There's no way that you can... You could do that by hand. All they're doing is adding a fucking PS5 controller to it. What happened to what I wanted to talk about? What did you want to talk about? The Zelda trailer. <laughs> that would have been a much better. That would have been a much better topic. But hang on. What about what? these chat points I've written? Like, should gamers be allowed to have baby? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. That's Ooh. the only type of eugenics I'm for. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about the Zelda trailer? Is that okay, Evan? You're in charge Maybe. of Maybe. Why didn't you I'm just... I'm trying to work out what this, what this startup, what's different Who about cares? this. Who cares? <laughs> you literally just look for game, weird sex <laughs> thing. And then I you don't. put it here. You do. It's just what I had flagged a few articles this week. What, the alternative to this That went one? off on your, on your Google <laughs> alerts for game I weird sex I don't have thing. Google alerts set up. I, I troll through I, every article that Kotaku puts out, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, Polygon, and... Flag and yet, stuff. and yet, every week, it was either this or it was an article about someone who uh, who made a machine who, that can milk cucumbers. <laughs> you want to talk about a trailer? <laughs> did you watch the trailer? I did watch the trailer. Yeah, it was good. You thought it was good? Well, I thought it was different. Oh my god, you're the target demographic. You <laughs> are insane. Did you see this? They have heaps of tits. Do you want me to? <laughs> Oh, I said Evan, the target. <laughs> Heaps of USB C. Nintendo Switch, play, connect. This is a summary of the trailer for the new Zelda game. Um, it's them going, oh, I'm, it's on, a middle -aged I'm man. on a bus, I'm on a bus. Oh wait, I've come home. Is it live action? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got the new Zelda game. He doesn't oh, say anything. I got it. And he gets on the bus and he's like. You've left out the part where he's like got a beautiful house and a wife who he's just like, 
<laughs> he's like fully depressed. It's just like a, it's like a film. And then he starts playing Zelda and he's like, yes. <laughs> it's, just, it's like the Australian Nintendo. He's like, yeah, oh, what if I do this? Oh yeah. And then he's on the bus the next day and he's like playing it on the bus and all of a sudden the bus is better and he looks out the window and he's like. <laughs> I think I got that all across. <laughs> And also, it's I, like made him not depressed. Sounds awesome. <laughs> the part I liked the most was the bus tri trip he's on looks like these lovely green hills. Like it looks nice out there. Yeah, but he, mm. he's, he's like depressed. Let's look at those green hills in my Zelda. Well, yeah, well, when he's looking out at the green hills the day before. Well, he was thinking he wants about to his kill wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he hates his wife. He hates his wife so much. <laughs> I know they're trying for kids at the moment, and I'm going to tell them, stop, don't. It's not, it's not going to fix it. No, they can do IVF with robots now. <laughs> um. It's the most compelling game um, trailer I've ever seen. Really? Do you like it? No. Okay. Compelling in a bad way. I didn't think you did. Yeah, I thought it was fucking psycho. But it is... It is for a particular sort of person and will hit them. And do you know what? I was watching it going, if this trailer came out, uh, five years ago when I caught the tram to work every day for like an hour and I was depressed. I'm like, this would, that, it would get me. But it's like get a 45 year old man. That's what I felt like. Do you, know what, <laughs> do you know what I think the marketing strategy is? What? Everybody already wants to play this. Everyone who loves Breath of the Wild wants to play this. They don't actually need to see the game. They just need a reminder of the date that it's coming out. So I reckon they made an ad that people would make fun of. I'm perfect. Oh, the Kim Kardashian strategy, because she does. She doesn't care if you hate her. She'll do whatever she wants to just get. I mean, I feel like that's she. She works off the public. But it's, it's, it's Australia specifically. But I guess which so, can't, I can't think that it's some big smart thing because maybe the Australians they're going, came up with. It. <laughs> maybe they're just marketing to a market that because because Cole's right. Like people who are Zelda fans and Switch owners have that they'll already be keen for it, right? They already know, know what's I'm coming out. It. Yeah, everyone's eager for it, right? I don't Maybe even they are trying to target my dad because yeah. like he's not excited for this, mm. but like if if It does seem like someone who I would not expect to be playing Zelda playing yeah. Zelda. Yeah, I'm like the, if 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 the guy in the ad is the target market, which is typically how it works, then like yeah, they're targeting people who maybe aren't gamers typically and are depressed. And are yeah, depressed. They're middle Asian they're depressed. They're looking for an But in a way where they're like attractive and have a job. Yeah, That's but what's not giving he has a maybe. wife who's not bringing him fulfillment. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the target. <laughs> that's a very niche target. But you know what? That's out there. That's why you know it's not gamers. <laughs> they don't have wives. <laughs> Got him. So, um, <laughs> So David Sable is a biotech investor. He wants to be making no. 30 million babies a year. Whoa! Hang on, wait, 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 wait. He wants to be, he wants to well, be he making want, 30 he million. Want, he, wants, he wants IVF to be making 30 oh million. Oh my babies god, a year. he's making, Elon Musk. Why is this happening? He's making he's maybe Nick like 500,000 babies a year. <laughs> he's, that, he's that one couple who who are like procreating to because they're elite oh, and yeah, they yeah, want yeah, to save ones. the world by making more of them. Put a picture up of them here. And now put my face on one of them and then you on the other one. Oh my God. If you haven't spoke to them. <laughs> no, just you guys with glasses. <laughs> we are the elite. Um, oh, how many kids are you going to have to reverse population decline? 30 million sounds pretty good. That's a lot. That's a good start. If you had 30 All right, I'll have 30 million. Right. Legit though, like if you had 30 million, they'd all take care of themselves surely in like a big clump. I oh, know, I think they'd all die. No, like a puppy pile. What? You just have to get it started. Once you get it started, it's like um, it's like sourdough. It's like the, the what do you, you call you it? You just keep saying like, oh, sourdough take starter. A sourdough starter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you've got it going, then you just, then it just, it's just, you don't need it. Because you just keep saying like, oh, take care of your sister, take care of your brother. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you get my thing from the car? And then, you know, it really starts to pay off because then they just do stuff for you right. as well. Okay. What's that series with the guy from All Too Well, the 10 minute version? Seventh is... Heaven. No. I did see a Seventh Heaven clip on TikTok recently, which was like, it was like one of the kids was getting married and then he like flashes back to the time that he practiced kissing his sister. And then the mom's like, what are you thinking about? And he's like, the time they were practicing. <laughs> Kissing his sister. Yeah. Yep. You know, I used to watch Seventh Heaven 
And I remember as a kid, I was so petrified that like I could never flip someone off. Like that was the worst thing you could do. And then I saw a clip from Seventh Heaven recently about how one of the kids does that and then his mum sees him and she's like, <gasps> and it's like the whole episode is about him. And he's like just standing with his friend. He's going, <laughs> <laughs> like it's the most garish shit anyway. And I think that that's what happened. Seventh Heaven affected me. See, wow. I think Seventh Heaven, I didn't watch Seventh Heaven. I instead watched Well, Passions. that explains it. Oh, I'm with you. And, yeah. yeah, I watched Passions. So like, it's Passions. Uh, I, I, I'm scared to get stuck down at well. That's a soap. That's my main fear. I haven't oh, watched Just a soap. Oh, it's, it's like one of soap. them old it's, soaps. No, 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 no. You don't understand. You don't understand. It's batshit. It's batshit. It's got batshit. It's got supernatural. Witches. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's amazing. It's it's really good. It's like a dummy. the beautiful, but. No, no, it's like Bold and the Beautiful, but what if there was like also zombies and mermaids? Yeah, and they were like cursing people. Like, wow. It's good. It's good shit. Sounds good. Um, maybe we should move on. No, let's go back to PS5 fucking machine. What? What? I'm so glad what we were console? able to get away from this, however briefly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go back. Good job. We don't have to talk about this. Yeah, well, we can just stop now. Okay. Star Wars. <laughs> Jedi Survivor is the highly anticipated follow-up to the fantastic Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That's all I wrote for that. Uh, we'll take a look at the trailer. <laughs> I'll write a little bit more. Yeah, but I didn't. Nothing to say. We'll take a look at the trailer. But first, let's take a little ad break. You were only a child when they sent you off to war. Now look at you. The weight of a galaxy on your shoulders. Didn't I tell you to be more careful about who you scan? Come on. I cannot tell you who you must become. Or where the line is drawn. There are easy choices. These are dark times. We have few allies. Good to see you, Gal. The odds are against us. And they will always be against us. Now or never. Our destinies are intertwined. But I can tell you this. If there is any hope of surviving, we must stand against the darkness. That was a look at the trailer for Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is a fun game. <laughs> He's back! He says that every time. Um, he enjoys games. I, yes, a lot of the time I do. Why? This is um, not, you don't need to defend yourself. Well, I'm actually, you're right. I'm just, I'm, well, maybe we shouldn't talk about it right at the top. What? Well, um, I feel like I talked about 2048 like a couple of months ago. Oh, and now yeah. you've been playing that constantly. Oh no! Yes. Much like when I mentioned Cookie Clicker a couple of years ago, and then you were playing that for a year straight. Yes. Naomi, as the main person, this is affecting. I know he's playing the game, but what will happen is I will go to say something to him, and I will think he's answering emails, mm. and then I will look over and realize he's just talking to the numbers. And it's so he's like, talk you're he's talking, talking to the, the numbers. numbers now? He's always he's always on those numbers, and sometimes I'm like, do you know? I think the numbers are coming between us. Mm. And he's just always looking at those numbers. It's just, it's addictive. What are you and, saying to and, them? And I'm not actually talking to them, but I'm just like. I love you. How long have you been playing it for? What do you mean? Like, what, how long, when did what you mention What do you mean? What kind of question is that? What is that? How long do you mean like how long? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is time? Okay, I want to know, I want to know when was the, when was your start commencement date? And then how many hours, <laughs> how many hours do you think you've logged? I... You can look on your phone, surely it will I, say. I, I checked my phone, I, I, well, I don't know a total. It would have been a couple of months ago because yeah. I mentioned it. Oh, that's crazy. Because like I... 
I played it when it first existed. Yeah. For like a day, and yeah. that's enough. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, that's the thing, because he played Cookie Clicker for like a year, like two years ago, but like nonstop. Like you'd be talking to him and he'd just be doing this, he'd be clicking on cookies. And that, that came out, what, like seven years ago? And then we went into yeah. lockdown, and then I had, it was me, and I, you know, lockdown was hard. Like it was, a, we were alone, and then Evan had Cookie Clicker, and that was good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. I was at, I was at the tram stop the other day. Somebody was some old man was playing Pokemon Go, and it was the most deranged way oh. of playing a game I've ever seen. What was he doing? He was just like looking out, like out that way, and just being like, "Oh, that yeah, yeah." No, <laughs> that's I, what he looks like playing Cookie Clicker. He's got to get those Pokemon. You got to get those. Good. You know what? I'm excited. I think next year I'm gonna tell Evan about Fruit Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I'll, uh, no, I've already played Fruit Ninja. Oh, wait, wait, what about, what about, saying, there's what, something about... What about Words with Friends? <laughs> <laughs> I like Words with Friends. Have you heard of Pong? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing about Cookie Clicker and, and 2048 is that they're kind of like mindless, right? Like you, it's, it, there's some, there's, you know? Oh, I know. Cookie I Clicker get more crazy. so, but 2048, you can I, just sort of do it and it, and you... And it never ends. Sometimes I do it in like a Zoom meeting. I'll play 2048 because it's like, because I actually have an affliction. (laughs) Actually have trouble paying attention. Um, It's really hard for me. It's really hard to talk about. I don't really bring it up much. Um, But uh, no one can tell you're playing it, but it is mindless. So I'm I'm still like listening and I'm looking at the screen, but I am playing 2048. Do you still play it? Um, I exclusively play it when I'm in Zoom meetings that oh, are getting okay. boring to me. Fair enough. Here's the thing I'm worried about, Evan, with you, and let's discuss it. So mm-hmm. you started off, you're on your phone. Yeah. You've recently progressed to having your iPad. I did put it on my iPad, but I... going to continue to oh, get bigger no. and bigger. I, del- I, I don't play it on my bigger. iPad. Should we play it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Evan's dream! <laughs> Um, I, 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 as I've, I feel like I've talked about this before. I play games. I play like mindless mobile games until they send me crazy. And it recently happened like a week ago. I get like Tetra syndrome, you know, like yeah. I start seeing it everywhere. Yeah. I was playing one of those games where you, you have to shoot the, the ball off and hit the bricks. Mm-hmm. And you have to hit them a num- certain number of times. And I was starting to see the layout of my house, like the bricks. So then I deleted yeah, right, the game okay. and I said, that's enough. Whereas I fuck. <laughs> Imagine if that was my vibe. I've decided to become a bad boy. Okay. <laughs> what do you reckon? Okay. Do you yeah. like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look at the support him. You fuck. Um, the- Go back. Definitely. Do you know this energy drink on it <laughs> says energy and attitude? <laughs> Why the fuck are you drinking an energy drink at this hour? It doesn't do much. I need, I need, I need to get a Vivance prescription for once. I'm trying. (laughs) Do you know my dog got prescribed anxiety medication? It was so easy. The vet was like, he seems anxious. I'm going to give you this medication. And I. Is it the same as human medication? Yes. (laughs) Yes, that's the factory part. He wanted you to take it. (laughs) (laughs) They do say that dogs take on the personality of their own. (laughs) I mean, if they, maybe then. Was he the one that slipped in the information that it could also be used for humans? Yeah, it's exactly the same, actually. It's like in the same amount that a human would take every day. It's, it's actually same. better for people and really bad for dogs. <laughs> Wait, I was at the psychologist. Was it, was it the psychiatrist? No, it wasn't the vet. Okay, yeah, no, actually, I've realised this now. This was for me. <laughs> what up? So, uh, Star Wars, yes. Jedi's. Star Wars! Um, um, so, we, I... I loved the last game. The Jedi Fallen Order. We played it together. It was really nice. Was it in COVID or what is it? Where, when did that game come out? I was trying to think about this. We played it together. It was really nice. It was really nice. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> you remember. Uh, remember I told you I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, will you marry me? And then I was like, shut up. I need to beat this boss. We don't play games together very often. No, we were doing it because you were playing it and then you would get to a point and get very frustrated. I'm like, give me the controller. Yeah. Oh, because you're oh. bad at games. You're actually really bad at games. He's not a well, player game is fun. It's good. It's a good vibe. But also, he's bad at platforming as well. Um, you're really, really bad at platforming. Like the worst person I've ever seen play. <laughs> like even like someone who doesn't play video games would be able to do it better than you. I actually don't mind the platforming in these games. I yeah. Well, that makes sense because it's easy as fuck. <laughs> okay. But it was a fun game. It's it was not a- like a ch- there's like no point to the platforming. I think it's just. 
But that's what's kind of fun about it because it's just like, oh, we're You're just exploring. having fun. You're fun in new You're places. just running around. Remember I, when you used to run around a playground? I <laughs> genuinely actually really love that aspect of it. Yeah. I, th I like that it's like easy, but you're still like, oh, what have I got to do oh, on the side? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is I get lost really easily in this, in this game. Really? I, did, I think I got lost a bit in the previous game as well. I'm trying to think. There, there were a few, definitely a few points where I did. This one feels, and this is my memories. I should have looked all this up before we started talking, but this one feels more, slightly more open world than the last one. Am I, uh, there is more open world in this game. And yeah. I would say that's the one problem I have with it that I would love if it was a little bit less open. Because what I do you, like the story. Do you really think it's open? You can go. Like, it's like, I feel like, mm. I'm not trying to be a hater, but it is my, it is in my DNA. <laughs> um, like, it'll be like, oh, we need to get over there somehow. Mm. There's very clearly only one way to do that. Oh. But I immediately was like, oh, okay, why don't I try to jump up here? When it like very much is like a ledge that you could reach, but no, you can't jump up it. It's like, okay, there's literally only one way to do this. So to me, that's, I was like, okay. Like it's, it looks mm. great. I think it looks great. I love looking around. I think it's, it's not my aesthetic, like old metal. It's um, not just old metal though. It has style. Oh no! I like it's Star Wars. It's 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 very well done. It looks beautiful for what it is, um, and I liked looking at it. But I was like, I understand why they built it this big, but there's still only one way to do everything. So I'm like, I, I was irritated by. I just hate that thing of when it looks like you can jump up something, but oh no, you, there's actually only certain things. It reminded me of like. Tomb Raider on PS3, mm. you know, yes. like there's, they, they, it's very much that like, like jump from the wall and then go over there into that wall. I'm like, I just don't care about that. Oh, see, I think I actually like that because it's like mm. the game is constantly telling you, you're doing it right, you're doing it right. <laughs> yeah, free serotonin. It's for babies. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. <laughs> I knew how to turn this on quicker. Yeah. It would be me. That's it. <laughs> She's going off. And that's enough. Um, you know what we say? Um, no, I, I agree with you that it is a lot of that, but every so often it goes like, you could go this way or you could go that way or you could go this way. Yes, each of those paths is like a path that is pretty, you know, it, it has a way to go, but you do, you can wander around a lot. There's lots of little things to do. Like there's lots of people going like, hey, I'm Jiminy. You want to go to find Grumble? Grumble's down in Glombo Canyon. Mm. Go have a chat. And you're like, Are you George Lucas? <laughs> <laughs> that's a writer's strike. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, no, that's not solidarity. <laughs> what have I done? What, what, did you do any of the puzzle, puzzly, solvy, you know, that sort of stuff? I played it? it for like two hours. Yeah. Um, I think I, there was a point where I was like, oh, this is the first time. And it was like nearing the end of that two hours. I was like, this is the first time I've had to use my brain. And it's not much. It was like I had to get the bomb and throw it at the tar thing. I was in that area. You know, there's like the big monster. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. And I was like, I literally said out loud, oh, this is the first time I've had to use my brain. There are a lot of bits where they're like, it's so, there's bits that are so this. This game, which came out today and we're not talking about it. So you know how badly I want to play that fucking game? It is right here. <laughs> um, the, the... I think we might talk about the Lego game next week. What? No, are you joking? No. Are you joking me? No. We can't. Everyone's talking about this game, Evan. Just talk, talk about, about the game people are talking we're about. The you following don't... week, we'll talk about Zelda. Why? I, because that's what I put in the schedule. Change it. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, I, you know, I said I, autism. My hands are tied. It's in the spreadsheet. It's in the spreadsheet. <laughs> he writes that. He doesn't like change. No. <laughs> um, this, What's the Lego game? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who <laughs> fucking knows? It's, it's a car game. game. It's a car racing driving game. Do you that have actually any, sounds... like, you, it's a, oh. you, you want people to watch the shit that you're making. I don't, I want to play Breath of the Wild. I want to play whatever it's called. I don't want to play Lego again. <laughs> I'm going to have a meltdown. <laughs> anyway, sorry. We're talking about Star Wars. <laughs> um, I agree with everything that you're saying, but I found that really enjoyable. Like, as this game, for what it is, I like that it is just beautiful and mindless. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate playing it. Mm. 
There's, oh, what I was going to say was there's puzzles later that are like the things in Breath of the Wild where you, you know, you have to complete like a weird puzzle with circles and like this sort of business. And I feel like... I love that. The, do you know those bits I, I didn't care that much for because oh. the, I know you said everything's sort of on a, you know, rails, but... I was doing these puzzles in ways that I wasn't supposed to be doing them because it's, it's still a bit janky, this game, in a fun oh, way. Oh, it did I crash think. several times for me. Really? Mm. What were you playing on? A PC. Ah. It crashed right, right at the end of the opening scene. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I nearly made it through! <laughs> and then it crashed also, like, after I'd played it for about two hours and I was like, I need to start, like, washing my hair and getting ready soon. Mm. And then it crashed, I was like... <laughs> That's a sign. I it's think... time to put it down. Because I enjoyed playing it. I wasn't like, uh -huh. you know, I can't wait for this to be over, which I have been like with some of the games that you've yeah, yes. put me through. Yeah. Um, I, d I didn't mind playing it, but it wasn't one of the ones that would grip me. I mean, I feel like I've noticed now every game I'm either like, this wants to be Breath of the Wild, or I'm like, I wish this was more like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> And you wish this was more like Breath of the Wild? No, this wants to be Breath of the Wild. You think so? No, it's not trying that at all. No. Yeah, the bit where you zoom in and you can add a marker. Come on. That's a map. No, no, no. The one where it, you get the zoom things, you put the goggles on. Right. And then you can zoom, you can add a marker on the map. But a lot of I think things. That just might be a... No, no, no. It was very Breath of the Wild-ish. Okay. I but think that's true. The game is not function. No, no, no. But there's like a bunch of stuff like that. Whereas I was like annoyed. I think that they would be like, "Hmm, how are we supposed to get over there?" And I would be, I would, I would enjoy it if it was a creative thing. Or it's like, why are you pretending that it's something you have to figure out when it's literally just basically a straight path forward? They do, they do mix it up a little bit later on. There is one bit that I, I was, oh, I wish I was record, screen recording at the time. There was one bit that was like, there was a rope here, right? And I was on a cliff mm -hmm. and I looked out over this cliff and I was like, I don't know how to get over there. I was in the wrong spot, right? To go, I, I think I cheated a little bit. Uh, I ran at this cliff, accidentally clipped into the rope. Then I like swang and then fell to my death. And I was like, this game is great. <laughs> that was very funny. Okay. There's some really funny ways to, um, yeah, die, die and fuck okay. up. I just think it's janky in a fun way where you can, you can like clip into bits. This is not what the game wants you to do, but you yeah. can like do a creative way bugs. to do it. I, I, there was like this puzzle where you, um, you have to run along a path, but the path disappears. It's like a see-through puzzle. You, it goes. Pew, pew. Oh well, see, I would probably yeah. like that a bit more. It would at least be some sort of challenge. So I don't think I got far enough. But yeah, again, I played for two enough. hours. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's that's mostly yeah. There's a lot of tutorial at the top introducing you to shit because there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. But that pew, pew, right? I was supposed to just. What I worked out afterwards was there was a wall run next to it. And I was supposed to run on the wall and time it to jump on and then run along. But instead, I just ran at it really fast and timed it so I could run. Like you can, you can cheat in ways that um, I don't think should be possible. Because this game got delayed getting released, right? They delayed it. We were going to talk they about did, last year. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They did delay it. I think oh. it was to fix it. Man, imagine if they didn't delay it. Exactly. Because this has been a rocky launch. Oh, it would have been cyberpunked to hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would have been. Like, this was already reviewed. Paul gets it. <laughs> this already got. That game had issues. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this got review bombed on Steam when it came out. Did it? On PC, yeah. And I don't think it's on PC. It was like it's not that bad. It's, it's pretty bad. It did crash in Crashing the, in the and, opening scene. And, that I'll give it that. But and performance and stuff as well. In terms like, of games that get bugs. released these days, which oh. it's crazy that they just release stuff all the time now hmm. that doesn't work. Yeah, that that's is crazy. crazy. That it is. is crazy. It is crazy that we bought this game on a disc. We put it in the PS5. We played the first level, hit a point where it said, okay, now you have to download how much? 100 gig? The rest, yeah. 100, the rest 150 of the gig of downloading. Which meant that they could fix things, which I guess is good, but then a part of me is like... No, that's not so you can fix things. That's what a patch is for. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can fix things on release. <laughs> this like, is just because games are too big for disc now. What do you think we should do about that? USB-C. Uh, yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Love that. This is why you buy some games and it's just like a 
CD key and I want multiple paste discs. or something. Like the I am glad glad we... stuff to keep well, in what, your house. Uh, do you remember how many discs The Sims used to have? Oh, yeah. the hot date, the house party, no, but then vacation. It, but then even it, the it was like the ex some of Unleashed them were like two. like two discs. Yeah, yeah. I remember like, oh, I remember, it's like crazy. It was, it was, a, it was its own game just to install it and then my computer could never handle it. <laughs> Unreal Tournament was like six discs or something. It was Why'd crazy. they stop doing that? That's because Unreal. It's, it's like like making these, Sims 2, it's four not, discs. And then you lose one of the discs or it gets scratched <laughs> and you're like, I'm halfway through installing it and I can't, it's not going to... Anyway, it's, it, that, I'm glad we moved past that. Um, and it's particularly for consoles because it's annoying when there aren't many games that I've played like this, but where it asks you to change discs. It's just plastic, uh, yeah, so you can resell it, right? Like that's the only reason you do this well, over just downloading it. I did it because well, this was cheaper. Often it's cheaper to buy a physical copy than to buy it on the e-store. Now make this, that. If make I wanted sense. to buy this, this is one hundred and ten dollars. Smith. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> this was what was this? This was like the, on on launch Showing day. Showing people it's let's sing. On launch day, we bought this for like what eighty nine dollars or something, or not even oh, eighty four dollars, something like that. Uh, and but if we bought it on PlayStation on the store, it would have been one hundred and nine ninety five or something. But the reason why I buy things on disc is because once <laughs> this is this is why you buy the disc version of the but, PS five, even though it's more expensive, it saves you money in the long run. But also, in yeah, my, you can resell it also, and you can resell it. But in my head, also, you know that rights management stuff is very. Tenuous, like you can download something now, and then if you if Australia loses the rights to something, sometimes you can lose something you bought. So yeah. my brain yeah. goes buy a disc, but the game isn't on here. So That's what it. have I purchased? If they, if they decide to stop supporting this game, oh. you won't be able Purchase to play the it. Right to point. the game, you'll still be able to download it later, right? Surely, but then you just don't know. I think it's all very. It's all, it's all but at some point, the, at some point, they'll shut it down. Like they, every, all the time, they're shutting down. They just games. shut down Flash two years ago. I don't think you're going to want to play <laughs> no, that by the time no. they stop having it for download. Evan, there's I wouldn't a, worry about it. There's so many games every year that they're just like, no, we're not supporting this anymore. Are you talking? Have what you seen game? the Matrix game shutting down? It's so good. What, what year is that the, from? I can't. The Matrix Online shut down. I don't know the exact details, but there is a clip of all of everyone saying like, goodbye, goodbye, and then it's. Slowly, like the game falls apart, and every it just goes boom, 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 boom. Show the clip. Yeah. I think is great. I just wanted to like it's a good story. I like Cal. I like all the characters. Are goofy fun. There's I mean, a, the oh. characters in this game. Yeah, this game is good. They didn't annoy me. Mm. Considering it's written like a modern AAA game, like they could have. You guys know. <laughs> you all know. <laughs> I hate everyone. <laughs> it's written into a game these days. Almost everyone. Mm. They always have a bad personality. But they didn't make him annoying. I don't have to like him. You know what I mean? Like he's not talking every fucking ten seconds to a bracelet that hates him. Yeah. Like every other fucking game. And there is a bit in this game that I think you would love, Naomi, where um, he meets up with someone from the previous game. This is a continuation of the last one, which mm. is great because it's just like just keeping on with the same story. The story Again, I didn't know till today that this was a. Sequel. Yeah, you can play it and it doesn't Neither, matter. But I, I want to go back and play. I didn't even know the, the previous one, one. Oh, it's great, and it runs a bit better because <laughs> they had time to make it. I think. Great. Um, but there's a bit where you are on a big giraffe, right? What in this? In this, there's a bit where you're on a big giraffe in a sandstorm, and you get on there with this lady from the previous one, and she, they get on the back, Ooh. and then they put, and then they <laughs> fuck on the giraffe. It's a Star Wars game by Disney. <laughs> <laughs> And Mirror the neck gets in. No, there's a bit. This is so nothing. There's a bit. There's a bit where um, they, uh, the, 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 I think they're a witch. They put their hand around Cal, like Cal's belly to hold on on the giraffe. And it's like, nice. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> this was like, this bit 
bit of writing was sort of sweet. I was like, oh, this is like kind of cute in like a little small microcosm interaction way. I was like, that's that's nice. That was cute. That's not. I like that you enjoyed it. I don't really care about the story You're at all. You're imploding now. <laughs> I just I mean, realized it sounds like I love... You don't ever care about the story, no. do you? I don't ever care about the story in any game, so I actually like when <laughs> Some of them are good. I know, I know. I've seen people play Last of Us, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but you have good Star Wars opinions. Huh? You have good Star Wars opinions, I feel like. We were talking about them earlier. Do you want to share some? I like Darth Maul. <laughs> I like, um, there's one character, I, I actually watched, um, I watched all the Star Wars recently. Mm. All I watched, of them? Well, I'd already seen the last three, and I'd actually already seen the first three, as in four, five, six. It's all very confusing. Um, but I watched, I watched four, five, six, and then one, two, three again recently, because my friend's friend is in a new Star Wars show sometime Which one? soon. I think it's been announced. I'm just going to check that I'm sure it's been announced um, in case I'm like, uh, uh, Star Wars show. It's a show about fucking on a giraffe. But it's yeah, really controversially, cool. yes. I love episodes one and I would say the story breakdown of two and three, even though I don't think that they're executed. How do you say that? Ashoka. Ahsoka? Ahsoka, okay. sorry. Ahsoka. Yeah. The, one, Ahsoka. the orange, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That, oh, it doesn't matter what. Um, but then, so that's why I watched it with, um, with, a, with a girl and a gay. So I was like, I can handle this. <laughs> but there was one character that I liked. Ugh, his name starts with S. He's a big robot. Do you know who I'm talking about? It's in the in prequels. That show? I, what? Oh, oh. Um, the, the bad one. The, like yeah, yeah, the one with... <laughs> Oh, Star... No, uh, Sidious. Sidious. Uh, Is it Darth Sidious? No. No. General no. Grievous! General Grievous. Oh, Sorry, Grievous. they have the same, like... I don't know why if it was S. It was alliteration. Anyway, that's my favourite Star Wars character, General Grievous. I thought he was fun. I am yeah, very... There's a bunch of games that... So, so, there's so many games. <laughs> shut down servers for and delisted them. <laughs> I was compiled a list for Naomi to look through. Oh, I didn't make a list. This is, oh, this is my a God. They've shut down Cherry Tree High. I, my girls. <laughs> no. <laughs> they shut down Shrek and Roll. Oh, my God. I was just about to finish that. <laughs> they shut down Katrina's Curse and Vivian's Curse. <laughs> I'm so Wait. pissed off. Schlocks. <laughs> Oh! Oh, so the 1943 Wait, is on there. Marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Two is on that list. Are you... Whip, whip. <laughs> please know more about Katrina's curse and Vivian's curse. <laughs> no, it's gone now. It's. <laughs> I, do, I just want to just synopsis. I don't know what it, I don't know how to use this phone. That's okay. I do, would you like me to? Uh, <laughs> trying to go back and forward and then hit all the uh, buttons. This is the it's exotic so Google Pixel. Uh, yeah. We all pixel over here. You're all pixel. Yeah. You we, shouldn't be pixel. Why not? We love Google, and hey, I, I'll, I'll fuck those letters any day. It's my bad boy. What are we talking about? Coming out again. Um, Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh, movies. Star Wars. I'm so. I was gonna say I, I'm very scared to talk about Star Wars because I think something must have happened when I was young. Where oh, no. so, someone was like, <laughs> I tried to talk about Star Wars, and they're like, no, you're wrong. And then my brain was like, well, you can't talk about Star Sounds Wars. Sounds like a true story. I very much believe that happened. I think it did. A lot of my friends used to read all the books, so they knew more than me. Oh, I... they could. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Grow oh, up. <laughs> grow up, these grow children. Up and grow up and stop reading. <laughs> so I used to feel. These kids when you were eight? Oh. <laughs> Immature. I'm very self-conscious about not knowing enough about Star Wars. It doesn't matter. I you know it doesn't. To... I know, but I'm so scared to say the wrong thing. Star Wars isn't about knowledge, it's about feeling. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Well, that's true. And it's about kissing your sister. They happens it twice. Yeah, it they happens twice. They happens twice. Um, I'm right. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> Naomi loves it. Naomi loves it. happens a lot. Kiss and that's what Star Wars is about. The it's about killing your dad and kissing your sister. There's wait, has there been more or less? Wait, has there been more sibling kisses or non sibling kisses in Star Wars? Oh, that's a good point. There was that one gay kiss in the background of the last one. No, that the back extras don't count. Okay, then no, they do for Disney. I can't, I don't know. I can't, I, I haven't 
rewatched the new ones. I also watched Rogue One, and I was very bored by it. I love Rogue One. I love Rogue One as well. I hate Solo. I hate Solo as well. Okay, it's I terrible. Like Solo. Oh, oh no, it's good. so bad. I just watched the seven. Those seven. Um, but um, I like the Last Jedi. I mean, I didn't find any of it particularly compelling. I just really? don't think it's my kind of stuff. Seven or nine. I hadn't. I've I've seen the most recent three the trilogy, mm. but I didn't watch it in the run that I just did of all of them. Yeah. yeah. What did you just say? I said that Star Trek, but I said it too late, and it doesn't matter. Um, the <laughs> All in Order. Yeah. I was interested. What, what was that? Star Trek? You said seven or nine, which sounds kind of like a character oh. from Star Trek. The, um, what characters does it sound like? A seven of nine. Cool. Is <laughs> <laughs> that the one with the glasses? <laughs> what? It's got like a boob. They don't have glasses mean? in Star Trek. No, that's Geordie LaForge. Yeah. That's no. in Star Trek, right? Yeah. That's a Star Trek. Yeah, I'm going to relate to you. Okay. Yeah, he's from Star Trek. I've I... seen Battlestar Galactica, the remake. Okay. Now, now, don't make everyone All of it? get real wet at once. Yeah. <laughs> Should I watch it now? I've not seen Battlestar Galactica. Have I missed the boat? Uh, is there a boat? <laughs> there was a boat. I watched it because my my boyfriend when I was in first year uni was like, this is a good show. And he didn't have a personality. But I thought the show was all right. Sometimes you do have to do that when you it was don't a have sexy, a personality. There was a sexy lady in it who was in Star Trek, actually, the blonde one. Oh, Seven of Nine? That's Seven of Nine. <laughs> oh, my God, she's in Battlestar Galactica. Can really? you believe the I remake? No idea. Can you believe that? Evan can't stop talking about Seven of Nine and <laughs> sexy blonde. Please, I know. I live with him every day. He wakes up in the morning, he's like, we should be more like Seven of Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Every Look, day. it's just because you were talking about Star Wars movies. Hey, why was Beck sad? Because Seven of Nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a comedy show. <laughs> yes! So get ready for zingers like that. <laughs> Can we come back to the movies? Oh, yeah. I think that I just think that the prequel trilogy gets cops a lot of flack. Mm. When it's actually an incredibly creative origin story <laughs> or a villain with not much personality. Which villain? Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Evan. I. Which villain? Star Wars. Which villain? <laughs> which, I can't think of which one. Uh, surely there are more than one villains in that. I mean, surely there stories. are more than one villains. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to do it. For I don't a while, follow and Star and Wars. I've seen them all. I don't really clock. There's really? Vader. You is seem there. like a Star Wars guy. No, no you'll find I'm a Star Trek guy though. No, actually, you, you know what? I take it back because you're a nerd, not a geek. Mm. That's the difference. Okay. Star Wars geek. Star Trek nerd. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. Okay. No. What all else, right. I see what, what you're saying. Geeks like comic books. Mm -hmm. Cheetos. You don't do comic books. Nerds like numbers and cups of tea because that's how Picard gets it on the chip. <laughs> uh, Buy a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. no. <laughs> I'm getting, I, yeah, it's I mean. Having a meltdown, it's fine. Oh, like numbers, I play 2048. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, I know, Evan, that's what I mean. Exactly. Um, more than four hours a day sometimes. Whoa, that's a long. It's a lot, right? Back to Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> please. 2048. The the number game. Number game. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what mindless game I do like? <laughs> Mini motorways. Oh, oh my god, I just down, re downloaded Mini Metro. Oh, I haven't done Metro. Oh, that's the original, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but I jumped right to the one that was getting all the hype. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fake fan. <laughs> whereas, so you... whereas I fuck. <laughs> I tried it again and it's, the attitude's still going well. No, it's good. I think that fucks. <laughs> <laughs> so you like the prequel trilogy? Which most people don't like. I don't think that, that I think. Pretty boring. Yeah, Attack of the Clones is one of the worst movies. What I'm saying is that if you beat is that it out. the first one? The, the it's the second one. one. Yeah, it's really one. long and it's a lot of talking. Yeah. It's hard. But if you actually just like wrote down all the story beats of the prequel trilogy, I'm like, oh, that's an incredible trilogy. It could have been made so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I liked when I was watching it and I went, that's Kira Knightley. That's Kira Knightley. That's Kira Knightley. And then I looked it up and then I went, Guys, see, it's Kira Knightley. I'm right. It's Kira Knightley. I did that. It as was well. Kira Knightley. Okay. Yeah. It was a good moment. Because it was just like they put all the all the women who had to be Natalie Portman's body double, or just all the women who ended up being movie stars, because they're as pretty as Natalie Portman. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Who's the other one? Um, fucking Australian. Rose Byrne. She's one of them. Mm. Um, She's in Phantom Menace. 
No, she's, but one, she's one of the one of the like decoys. Is she really? Amadea. That's Amidala. Her name, right? Amidala. Amidala. Who's what's Amadea? You just is it Amidala? Amidala. Oh, okay, cool. What's Amadea? Um, like I think you're thinking of Amadeus. Amadeus? <laughs> yeah. What I don't know. I'm just saying. There's a lot of pretty women. Yeah. In, um, in that's uh, that's what I liked about it. That's what I like about it too. And she has the best outfits. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they got it. <laughs> so, so, so we finished Jedi Fallen Order. The, mm. But what I see, I, I don't remember the story really. I don't have any a, a real recollection of like the puzzly bits and, and oh, yeah, you get on the traversal ship and stuff. And you're going through, and it's like oh memories. And then I started clicking on it, and it's like describing all these like items that are probably from the last game. Oh, I got halfway right. through them, and I'm like, I don't need to know about this. <laughs> you don't need <laughs> this to. This isn't any of my business. <laughs> and then I customized my lightsaber, made it beautiful. Great. What color? What? Oh. It was like a chrome. You know, it like sort of it looks almost a little bit rainbow. How did you make the thing? Um, it's cyan. Oh. Yeah. What? Really? I think so. You broke it. Yeah. I don't think you need to press the, the hit, Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Cyan. Hey, cyan. There you go. Oh, the blue Jedi. If he knows cool. about Star Wars, he the said, blue Jedi. the blue Jedi. <laughs> it's a cyan. So, oh, the cyan, cool. Jedi. Just watch out for the LED screen. Oh, yeah. I just had a moment. Jeez. So anyway, but no, but what I was going to say was what sticks with me from the first game is the combat is so good. Yeah. I really enjoyed the combat. It's really challenging, but not challenge, so challenging that it's too hard and you get fed up. Or if you do get fed up, it's, it's like deep and fun enough that you want to go back and give it another go. And then it's really rewarding when you beat a boss and then you keep going. Like it's just... I agree. It's great. I agree and too. You get the and skill I... points and then you go up the skill tree and you unlock new moves or new stances or whatever. And it makes the combat more fun so it doesn't get old. Combat's great. I don't normally like f fighting. I had a lot of fun fighting in this well, game. What, you don't normally like fighting either. <laughs> what, what, what's your impression of the combat in this? I didn't mind it. I had fun doing it. I, See, that's good. It was easy enough. I played it on whatever the normal setting is. I just do whatever the normal one is. Uh -huh. I think having um, a lightsaber, it's cool because it's like shooting can just feel so just like, oh, whatever. And then yeah. like, and then like, but like yeah. actually hitting can feel really aggressive. Whereas this is, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's, you, there's yeah. a step back, but it's still like. But you're still in there. I'm cutting <laughs> this man in half. <laughs> it reminded yeah. me a tiny bit of Control. You know, the force oh, yeah. and the. Pff, I love, yep. you know, I love the game Control. Yeah. Um, because you, you know, you can people from far away and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I feel like if you got, if you got better at it, mm -hmm. if I got better at it, I probably won't. Let's be honest. Um, but. Uh, I can see it would be more fun. I'm a button masher at heart, so I just go. I am as well, and I really liked that you could pick, like, it kept, I mean, it was explained to me. It's like, now have the double thing, and now have the thing where you've got the two things. It Love kept it. it kept making me go, uh, and I'm like, no, one, please, and I just kept going back to this. One? Because like, you're faster. I like doing it faster. Oh, my God. I and now I've got a gun as well. Like shield all so the time. So I've got a gun and I'm just running around going boom, boom, bang, bang. Yes. This is what I want. Yeah. This is like, what I want uh, with my like life. shoot the lasers back. Pew, pew. Yeah. This one, L1. But also, <laughs> <laughs> you've got it. <laughs> the, but that's the great thing about it, right? Like you can, there's a variety of different stances and you can customise it and play however you want to play it. I like yeah. the, I like the, like blast, I like the double-ended. They all have their pluses and minuses, right? Lightsaber. Like, do not all... TOS us. What are you doing? Oh my god. Don't bring this up. Nobody now. think about sex. Promise? <laughs> Everyone promise. No one think about sex. It's what were you TOS. saying? TOS to turn Terms of service. Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh my god, don't even get me started on her. What's she done? Oh, she's with Matt. Dating Matt Healy. Or she's not. Do you think this is, I think it's a bit a of a PR joke. stunt? Have you seen the footage of Maddie Healy going, this song's for you, he's mouthing it and he's not saying in the microphone. And then there's footage of Taylor Swift going, this song is for you. They both, th I think it's a PR stunt. I think it's a silly, goofy time. Or I'm very disappointed in them both. Wait, who's Matt Healy? <laughs> 1975. Oh my God, get online. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> It's, he's just, she's just doing the thing where it's like date the complete opposite of the last person you dated and it's a mess. It is a mess. Well, she has to keep doing it until she learns. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know what, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, we can't help her. <laughs> she's, gotta, she's gotta learn to help, help herself. herself. Yeah, do you wanna go to the Eras tour? Uh, absolutely. I really wanna go. I said to Evan, let's go. And he was like, why? And I'm like, 
What do you mean? I why? Don't think should go there. Even like people who aren't huge Taylor Swift fans want to go Even, to the Eras tour. Have you seen right. that LED screen? It's huge. You would love yeah, it. I mean, that sort of thing's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how it's plugged in. <laughs> The rigging Evan. <laughs> you could look and see. They've got cameras that are on um, motors. You could look at them. <laughs> I just feel like I'll feel awkward when she's playing songs from Folklore and Evermore because I just did not get into them at all. It's not my thing. Yeah. And well, I house looks be... cool though. I, I would never want to That's the sit... one concert I went to, Reputation. You I went, went to the concert. That would have been I've never amazing. been to a Taylor Swift concert. It was great, except oh. there was a 14 year old next to me and she was screaming everything to the point where Taylor Swift started playing Delicate. This girl's just right next to me. She's like, <laughs> And it's just like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I would never want to see the one that's delicate. Or Evermore, sorry. I just said you were the one that was delicate. And I was like, thank God you said something <laughs> over that. <laughs> I was the one that was delicate. I nearly punched that. <laughs> I would never want to see Folklore or Evermore at a concert, but I do love to have it on on a Sunday morning while I'm doing the dishes. I don't like to hear songs I don't know at a gig. Yeah, the the concert is for me. I don't want to go to a Taylor Swift concert. Um, maybe we should wrap up. You oh, like Megan Trainer? What? I like like two of her songs, maybe. Yeah, that's Megan Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Got a. I'm sure she's very nice. Have you heard that one when she she's like? Nice. Oh my God, I put my pants on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? It's real. It's called Walk a Shame. W A L K A Shame. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my God. That's really great. I, I saw some that. clickbaity headline about her saying that her, her husband has a big dick. That's the boy from Spy Kids. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't click on it, but I just thought that was something we should all think about. <laughs> So Star Wars uh, Jedi Survivor, yes. it's uh, it's good. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I've played so much of it and I was like, wow, I'm really tearing through this. And then I looked at the thing and was like, no, you're not. I keep wandering off. I keep wandering off. I don't know where you're wandering off to. I've got so many stims. There's nowhere to wander off. I've got so many stims. You don't even know how many I got. Oh, I know. I know. I've noticed. <laughs> I get a diagnosis this year. <laughs> Um, I love what I've played of it. I don't have any of the consoles that it's available on. See, this is interesting, right? See, to me, this seemed like, for the most part, it feels like more of the same of the first game. But the first game was great, so I don't really have a problem with that. They do build on it and stuff like that. But I thought it was, it's, I think it's interesting that it's only available on the, the next-gen consoles. I don't know why we could call it next-gen when it's clearly current-gen. Um, but <laughs> PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Let's with fix himself. it now. <laughs> you, so the previous game it's was on current PS... gen until everyone has one. <laughs> just had a moment. I'm not taking like, a stand. I just want I'm one. Maybe you should buy one. <laughs> Maybe I should buy one. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> the um, but the previous game was on PS4 and Xbox One. And it, like it was, uh, it, this game, it didn't seem like it was that much more advanced. I mean, it looks couldn't. pretty it looks good. Real. It does look pretty good, but the previous one looked pretty good. Maybe I'm just. It looks like maybe. very photorealistic, which I was impressed by, but also I don't really care about that stuff. If I'm honest, that's not what I look for in a game, but it was, it did, I was like, wow, that's good. It's, Details. it's not what I look, like, look for in a game either, until now I've played this game and I loved it. For that reason, maybe not. that you loved it for that reason. Maybe that's that's the point of difference here. I didn't. I don't love a game for that reason. It's just not going to get it. You don't. Me. You don't like games based on looks. Well, I like them very much based on looks. Oh, okay. I was trying to make it seem like. You're <laughs> <for them. laughs> but that doesn't have to be like the most advanced technology. You know what I mean? I think what I appreciated it because it is very metally. I think that by being beautiful HD, depth of field, I don't know, it just made it all sing. I'm just sick of that gunmetal bullshit. It's just never going to appeal to me. It's just like war, war aesthetic. It's just to oh, me. But there's this one had like neon lights. There's a lot of green. There's yeah, green in bits. There's water. Yeah, like there's several different worlds it's so, it's and environments nice and it's not all... Yeah, but there's, there's, uh, there's other stuff that's like different worlds and places that I think is much more captivating. You I can... think what's really cool... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. all over the top of you. I was just going to say that you could... <laughs> it's because my face is this way. <laughs> and you can't, but also, I, all I was going to say was you can customise his beard. 
<laughs> and I don't think it was. Oh my god! Yeah, I unlocked short beard. Oh, you did? Oh, great! Yeah. I have a mustache. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't customize him at all because I was like, I don't give a fuck what this guy looks like. I don't care about him at all. But I did customize the lightsaber <laughs> a lot. Yes. And it's shiny and it's beautiful. It's not brand new. It's the one next to brand new. Okay. It's like well taken care of or it's whatever. Like when you've got a pair of Converse and people are like, you can't wear them. You have to go like scuff them up. Or was that just people bullying? No, once when, <laughs> I, was in, when I was in year four, was I, got a brand new, <laughs> I got a brand new pair of shoes. They were white. With like a, like an aqua and a hot pink streak on them, oh, that's and cool. I love them. And then when I got to school, I looked down and I was just so embarrassed at how clean they looked, and I rubbed dirt all over them. This is the oh, <laughs> this is sweetie. <laughs> what is this? We just did we didn't want to draw our attention to ourselves. That's true. And now yeah. here's all we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> a thing or two from Jojo Siwa. Okay. The something blah blah boomerang? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Star Wars, Jedi Survivor, it's out now. It's um, it's ninety nine dollars if you pick it up on uh, Steam on PC or uh, or if you go to a retailer and buy a, a console copy. But I'd say get it on PS five at yeah. the moment if you want to play it because it's more stable. Yeah, um, it does have issues. You more recommend issues that for on me? PC. Yep. I played it for two hours with no issues. Okay, yeah. <laughs> On PS5. Yeah, sorry. But <laughs> I, had a, I did have a crash on PS5. I would probably it wait happen. a bit for it to like settle down. I had some crashes on the computer, but I was unfazed by it because I'm doing really well. <laughs> but it's doing, it's still better than Cyberpunk was. It's better than Redfall is. Yeah, it's better than hell. What do you? It's <laughs> a very low bar. But also, it's a great game, which helps. Yeah, it's, it's, really it's much more further along to stable than most. AAA games that are released now, which is, in my opinion, barbaric. I don't think it'll be anywhere near as slick as that little game you've got over there, which I know once I start playing... I'm talking about Let's Sing 2023? Yes. Once I start playing Let's Sing 2023, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop until <laughs> my voice is gone and my vocal cords are red raw. <laughs> What's your favourite song on Let's Sing 2023? Because there is a very limited selection. I can't wait to do um, Made You Look by Megan Trainor. That genuinely might be on there. I'm sure remember, it is. I'm it sure might. it is. Hey, what if they use the same trailer for this um, to advertise Let's Sing 2023? <laughs> a 50-year-old man sad with his wife. <laughs> And now he can enjoy the bus. <laughs> 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 Gets on the bus. I can wear my leave it on. Before we uh, wrap up, we, we, we have a, a Patreon question. The top voter question this week is from Union Representative for the Boys in the Wall. Which game would you like to see adapted into a movie or TV series and what would be the genre? Um, as a writer, mm -hmm. I would like to go on strike for this um, <laughs> because uh, I think um, adaptations have gone too far. Too far? I'm sick of IP. I don't want any more of it. No more adaptations. No more TV shows of games, no more movies of games, no more movies of movies or TV shows of movies or movies of TV shows or movies of comic books. Stop it. But Last of Us just, just showed that it can be done so well. What? Yeah. And I, <laughs> I do not like Last of Us. Oh, because you love that gay episode, which was awesome. <laughs> hey, and that was very good. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was oh literally God. like if you typed into AI, HBO, gay, make me cry. No, HBO, autistic gay, make me cry. <laughs> How dare you? It was beautiful. No, it wasn't. And that was the exception. It's okay. mostly bad and it's fucking boring. Yeah, like I didn't watch Halo. I thought that was... That, it... that I don't even know that was out. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know, know that was that. made. I never saw the fucking, what's the one with the annoying cunt and they made it Tom Holland even though he looks like a baby. Um, Uncharted. Uncharted. Oh. Stop it! 
I think that I think that games to movies and TV shows and vice versa is stupid. I don't know. I just think that the storytelling is way too different and it kind of just doesn't need to happen. But mm, sounds like you haven't played Desperate Housewives on PC. Well, <laughs> sounds like I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Um, but I don't care about I don't care about reboots if they're good. Mm. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. It's too, there's too much now. No, but the, th the problem is just that the quality is so bad. Like, I think people rest on the IP and don't actually write a good story. But, like, I don't care about... No, I think I think the problem is that there are no one's... Like, people... Well, people want to have good ideas and those are the ones that get rewarded. Like, Severance. Like, everything, everywhere, all at once. Like, these are cool things that are actually new ideas, but they're so few and far between because everyone has to make a fucking Mario movie or a Halo movie and or TV show, whatever that is. Mm. Nice. I've had enough. Nice. Aerial live action. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like, I like Halle Bailey. She seems, she seems really nice, but it's, it's true. The crab looks weird. Is it Halle Bailey? <laughs> yeah, it's Halle, but no, there's, now I had this problem as well. What? It, Halle Bailey, I, I do think Halle Berry but then two different. Ellie <laughs> Bailey is the Hallie girl Bailey who plays Ariel. And then new celebrity. You, yeah, and you're thinking Catwoman. I have for this entire time thought that Halle Berry was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, am I racist? But you are. It's fine. <laughs> um, no, the names are. The and it's names not because the names are almost identical. <laughs> <laughs> um, Naomi, you've made some good points. But have you considered what if Harvest Moon, but hardcore porn? <laughs> I'm sure that already exists. <laughs> yeah, it probably does. <laughs> Arkham of our own exists. But I would like—I would like that. Like, if it was like a farm um, thing where you go to live on Stardew-esque, because that's what half smooth. Stardew, you go live on a farm, and then you just get fucking. And that's the TV show. I mean, that's fine. That doesn't have to be IP. You could just make that. That's true. Sex farm. I've made a new one. What do you know? That's not, that's not yeah, there's new that. ideas out here. We I, don't yeah. need to be using IP all the time. Right? I 100% yeah. agree with you. However, I think if you do use existing IP and can make something really cool and then that like helps like get eyes on it, that's fine. I'm sorry, I've had enough. I don't want more Marvel. I don't want more Star Wars. I've had enough. I agree with you about Marvel and Star Wars. I guess what, what I'm saying is I loved HBO's Watchmen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also, I'm just a, con I'll, I'm a content pig. I'll eat anything. You guys I'm have an actual coming. answer to the question before I derailed it with my female rage. Yeah, Stardew porn. I already said it. Stardew I think porn. it's a good idea. I, I think it would you be could, fun. Um, make a, a turn overcooked, overcooked into a horror series. Yeah. That's called um, Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> Evan loves that. You already have that. I like good. Kitchen Nightmares. It's a good show. Which is your favorite Kitchen Nightmare? Uh, you know, Amy's Baking Company. I mean, that is. Oh well, that yeah, is that that is. <laughs> yes. Obviously, that's the number one. I, I like his hotel series as well. The um, yeah. Hotel Hell. Is that what it's yeah, is that what it is? I don't remember. Why is he doing hotel? Because he does the kitchen. Well, because yeah, they have. They usually he's good at room. yelling. Yeah. <laughs> he gets in a bed and he's just like, "This is a bad bed," and like he slept in beds. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I could do a much better job turning Pokemon into a movie. Oh, that's interesting. Then, you then Detective Pikachu? Yes. Absolute <clears throat> garbage. What? I agreed with you on your Star Wars opinion. <laughs> you can't like Detective Pikachu the and I fucking hate oh. most shit. Are you kidding? Oh. I thought it was great. My Pokemon movie wouldn't be just in a generic action movie. It would be a love story between Ash and Pikachu. Uh, uh, not, <laughs> no, you're deciding what kind of love I'm talking about. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> I just said love. <laughs> what did you mean? I mean, it should be about Ash and Pikachu and their friendship. Okay, well, that's what Detective Pikachu is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It is. Just, spoiler alert, it turns out that Pikachu's his dad. <laughs> and Mr. Mime. No, no, but. Whatever, it's a it's guy. A, yeah. It's a guy, right? There's a guy. Yeah, I don't remember it. Yeah, I just remember that, that I liked um, when there were the Bulbasaurs were on screen. The aesthetic is awful. <laughs> I wholly disagree. The one thing that gets me every time is tiny animal with huge eyes. Yep. And they did that very oh. well. And Mr. Mime was very good and was Trigvy Wakenshaw. Did you know this? Did yeah, I yeah. talk to you about this? I already knew that. I didn't. I watched the whole movie and his name popped up. I was like, oh, what? Yeah. I, I met him. He when you're watching it, it feels like a generic action film. I disagree. 
I am correct, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this argument's over. Right. Right. I am correct, though. <laughs> I, okay, <laughs> that is actually a really good point. <laughs> you are, I That's think amazing. you have a personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> I like a dangerous one. <laughs> uh, we should wrap up. Yeah. Uh, and to do that, we have to thank our top patrons. We gotta do it. Um, Alan Cashian, Amy G, um, Andre Agnew, Ben Zombie. Why are you ending every one of these with a question mark? Blake Hennigan, Brennan Wozni. Uh, Bra Braden Rantall? I think there's some new names in here. Hey. Kevin Fullwood, Who Chris Potts. Christian Sanchez. That's it. Okay. <sighs> um, Dash KC, David Bourne, David Holland, Decay, Eric John E, Fahad Altani, Gears. Gears! I was going to scream. <laughs> anyway, Washington. You, you did. MJ, Oscar A. <laughs> Racism? Racism. <laughs> racism. Thanks. Thanks for your support. Thank you, racism. Uh, you don't mm. say it enough. Recon. I thought it was Halle Berry. <laughs> I can't believe you thought they cast Halle Berry <laughs> as the Little Mermaid. I have. Isn't she like fifty? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. And she could do it. And? <laughs> and she's not like I want to go have no voice so I can meet some guy. She's past that. How dare you? People can do anything at any age. You, you would only do that if your frontal lobe was underdeveloped. Maybe mine is. What do you think Taylor Swift's going to be doing when she's 50? <laughs> um, probably just like being rich, just like fully stepped back, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. What are cats in a cool way? Yeah, in she's a cool a way? Lady, right? All, all, all has never all been cool. Huh? Taylor Swift has never been cool. Never. Oh. We love her, oh. but it's not cool. But it's almost it's because she's not cool that we I've, love her. I've only just got into Taylor Swift. Really? Yes. No, that's not true. We like did like an album ranking like a year ago. I know, but I I know Taylor Swift albums, but I never. I am now fully on board. I think something happened to me. I did get I COVID. Hmm. Uh, maybe that's long COVID. Yeah, maybe it's that. Yeah, your brain damage. Maybe that's why she's so successful. Now. I was driving the car listening to All Too Well, a 10 minute version, and I got teary, and I don't know why. Are you serious? Yeah. Something happened. Something <laughs> has happened to me. That was so bitchy. Are you serious? <laughs> I was say you're like, joking. Say like, you're joking. Yeah. <laughs> you get it? You were listening to Taylor's version. Yes. All right. <laughs> Why'd you do that, Jake Gyllenhaal? What a fuck. Uh, Recon, 7474, Robbie Proctor, uh, Rupert the Dog, Sontary Raikkonen. Um, Scott Evans Sloppy Omelette Bag Log McKeechin. <laughs> no, There's what's... an explanation for that if you watch Beck's uh, Twitch stream. No, fuck it, just put the clip here. You can, the put the egg, clip here egg. of Evan making the Ziploc Bag Omelette right here. Oh, put it here. I want to see that. Make it flop out. <laughs> All right, that's the sloppy omelette bag log. And then he put it back in and then he cooked it again. Uh -huh. see, they'll see the, they'll see they'll the clip. See, yep. Uh, Sean Prague, Siraj Pyrrhus and XZ Neil. Uh, thanks so much, all you guys, for supporting us on Patreon. Um, Thank you so Thank much. You. so nice. If you want to hear your name read out, just uh, sign up to the Close Personal Friends Patreon tier. We'll uh, add you to the list. Don't you think um, that's kind of parasocial, the way you've phrased that? It's ironic, right? It's, uh... it's ironic, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Satire requires. I can't remember. <laughs> um, you got anything going on? Do you want to? Uh, you want to plug anything? I got this new water bottle. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Where can people to find share. it? Um, Kmart, fifteen dollars, I believe. Okay. Pretty but, good value. But important thing about it, you got to check. check to see if there's a straw inside. Bought one, no straw. Went back, checked another one. Oh, none of them have straws. I get a message from Beck, at mine has a straw. Turns out the other bottle that was checked, someone had probably taken that straw because they got the one without the straw. So you gotta make sure that you got a straw if you buy it. But pretty right. good value. And if you get one and it doesn't have a straw, just go into a Kmart and take a straw. What are they gonna do? Yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, you got a bottle and there was no straw. That's what they're gonna say. Or they'll kill you. Two options. 50-50. Uh, 
Rebecca, what are your pod? I am Rebecca. Yes. And I am on Twitch on Mondays and Thursdays. I am doing a lot of bullshit. I'm doing Subfest, actually. Come tune in for Subfest. It'll be fun. Yeah. I have, a, I have a lot of stuff planned that will be really silly and goofy and fun. And you're just Beckness on Twitch? I am Beckness. And I'm just, um, look, like, I mean, you saw the clip a second ago. That sort of stuff happens on there. So if you're mm -hmm. okay with um, seeing omelets um, yep. slide it's out psycho. of the bag. I'm on there sometimes. Doing Evan's stuff. on there sometimes. Like omelets. Sometimes we watch Shark Tank and, and <laughs> try to yeah, guess if they get money again. or not. We should do that again. Yeah. Yeah, um, we will. Beckness on Twitch. Thank you. Uh, Cole, what do you got going on? Hello. My name's <laughs> Cole. <laughs> <laughs> this is the plug section. That I usually go. Um, I am part of a sketch comedy duo called Whoa Alyssa. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok. Whoa Alyssa. <laughs> Whoa comma Alyssa, right? Is there a comma? Not on, not if you're searching for a handle. Well, no, is it Whoa comma official. Alyssa exclamation mark? Yeah, like Whoa Alyssa. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> yes. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. Oh. You're on t did you say TikTok? The t yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> funny stuff. Thank you. <laughs> that's all right. It's very funny. funny. <laughs> that's um, enough now. That's enough. That's the end of the show. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, next week we'll be talking about the Lego game, I think. No. No, <laughs> we're talking so about Breath of the We're talking about crazy. whatever it is. We're talking about Zelda. I mean, we're not talking about Lego. I know the name of the thing. Tears of something. Tears it's or called, something. It's this. Here, I'll show you. you. We are talking about Zelda. Everyone's talking about it. Don't talk about the fucking Lego game that I've never heard of <laughs> when everyone's talking about Zelda, please. you gotta, you got to tease people. This is not it's a good... Not, we're not teasing anyone. Yeah. Is my Switch fucked up? I didn't... Oh! What happened? Oh, no, it says Nintendo Presents. Oh. Yeah, fuck you. No, end the show. I'm done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you next week. Oh my god, this is like... It's like I'm in The Force Awakens. It's just like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs>